Nothing takes me back quite like a good chiptune song and sharp pixelated graphics. And in a day and age where nostalgia is basically cut up and sold by basically everyone on every street corner, it's kind of tough to get that feeling anymore. Seriously, we know, the 90s were a thing. And in such a cynical time, when nostalgia franchises are being squeezed for everything they're worth, it takes a lot of work to get that nostalgia gland in the back of my head pumping. But, in 2014, Shovel Knight managed to do it, and it managed to do it real well. If you never played Shovel Knight, it's a game about a guy who's got armor and a shovel, it goes around, he hits things with shovel, collects loot, goes on, does things. It's pretty good. But in a time when so many people are playing on nostalgia, the fact that Shovel Knight got shortlisted by a lot of people as their game of the year, and was such high quality, well, it, it really goes to show how far they've made that game go. It's a real love letter to those olden days, not a cheap cop-out, but something that felt like it contained a lot of passion. So when Shovel Knight's first little DLC or expansion or whatever the fuck you're calling it came out, Plague of Shadows, you knew I had to get right up in that shit, and I did. Pretty much non-stop for like six and a half hours. It, it took over my life for a little while. Seriously, when I woke up from my nostalgia-induced coma, my friends had issued an Amber Alert. If you've never played Shovel Knight, I'm really actually sorry, you should really do that. It's super good. But it's a 2D action platformer in the vein of Ghosts and Goblins meets Castlevania meets Mega Man. It's truly a love letter to the genre from a devoted team at Yacht Club Games. In the base Shovel Knight, you play as the mighty and valiant Shovel Knight, a great warrior wielding naught but a shovel and honor. He goes to battle to defeat the Enchantress, an evil force plaguing the land. With the addition of Plague of Shadows, you get a second narrative choice to play as Plague Knight, one of the original boss fights that you have to face in the Shovel Knight game. He comes around as an evil, conniving alchemist, looking to create the Potion of Ultimate Power. Each of these two characters plays very differently. While Shovel Knight feels a lot like a classical platformer character, you've got a pretty large jump arc, you got a melee attack with your shovel, you can down melee while you're jumping to kind of smash on things from above, and you got a various set of abilities via relics. Plague Knight feels very different from that. Not only does Plague Knight lack a melee attack and instead use various forms of grenades that you can customize on the fly, but his jump arc is much shallower, though he's given a double jump and a special charged blast ability which can fire him across the map or straight up. Though they both basically move through the same set of levels with a couple of minor tweaks to adjust for each character, they both kind of feel very diverse. It's all in how each character approaches platforming and approaches enemies, which is entirely different. They're basically night and day. Whereas Shovel Knight can bounce off enemies to gain a larger jump, Plague Knight relies on his blast ability, which can sometimes be a little bit imprecise. Despite that, the platforming for both characters feels incredibly tight and really rewarding. Like a lot of thought went into every engagement, feels similar to the original Castlevania, how it was all designed on based on how the player would move through the level. And that's how this game feels. Like, they took into account how the players were going to engage the puzzles and designed enemy encounters and traps and secrets around that. All around, the character design, level design, and enemy placement, everything, really complements the game really well and forms a cohesive whole that feels really fun to play and really rewarding to take down because you're gonna die a lot. Shovel Knight and Plague of Shadows are not what I'd call maybe an easy game. Um, it might take a little bit of getting used to, maybe some trial and error. You might die a lot. I mean, there's a reason the game has a death counter during the credits. Look at me, I did really good, I did re Oh no, I did not do so good. Oh, oh no, oh no. These levels are actually capstoned off by some really cool Mega Man-esque boss battles that are really fun and pretty damn challenging, but are incredibly rewarding when you finally do finish them off. And all of this is wrapped in a pretty fantastic narrative for both characters, and a surprisingly heartwarming one, considering the game is named Plague of Shadows. When it comes right down to it, Shovel Knight is a fantastic game, and Plague of Shadows only adds to its magnificence. It was one of my games of the year last year, and I think Plague of Shadows is gonna rank right up there this year. I mean, I've had a lot of fun with it. I, these are the kind of game that I will sit down and chew through in a single sitting. That doesn't happen to me very often. I got a lot on my plate. It's a pretty big plate. There's a lot going on. But it, Shovel Knight is a fantastic game. And the bright side is, if you have Shovel Knight already, you already have Plague of Shadows installed. It would have been updated on Steam fairly recently. 
And if you don't, it's only $15. And one of the best $15 you can really spend on a video game. So check it out. Shovel Knight, it's a great time. Plague of Shadows only adds to the experience. It's really good. Why, hello there. Thank you for coming by my channel and checking out my video on Shovel Knight. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please like and subscribe. It supports my channel immensely when you do. And if you uh, have anything to say, or just want to talk, or just want to ask a question, or whatever the hell you want to do, you should just post a comment down below. I try to get to as many of them as I can. I read almost all of them, though I can't answer every single one. I love to hear from you guys either way. But thank you again for watching my video here today. I really appreciate it. And you have a great one.